What's up everybody, my name is Luke and I'm going to show you your first three guitar chords and the five simple steps it's going to take for you to get there, right? To achieve this goal that you have of wanting to learn guitar. I'm going to assume that you don't even have a guitar or you just bought one and know nothing about it. Let's just go with step one, guitar fundamentals. First step, some of you have a guitar but it sounds like this. That doesn't sound that good. Tune your guitar. An app that I use is called Guitar Tuna. This is not sponsored, it's just I like this app a lot because number one it's free and you know it's an app on your phone, you can take it wherever you are. I'm going to show you how I tune my guitar, okay, starting from the first string all the way to the last, okay, so here we go. So I forgot to mention this but depending on what guitar tuna is showing you, whether it is flat or sharp, you turn your tuning knobs clockwise to tighten it or counterclockwise to untighten it. Perfect, sounds good, it's, it's nice and tuned now. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the placement of the guitar. As you can see, mine is really nice and snug right there next to my waist, and my elbow is resting right here on the edge of the body of the guitar. I see some people, and they take their guitar and they're playing it out here, or they're playing it on the other leg. Though it's not necessarily wrong, for me it's just not comfortable, and I prefer it on this side. So keep it nice and snug. When I teach my students, they tend to take the guitar and as they're learning their chords, start taking the guitar and then it ends up being like this and then it's no longer in the position that it's supposed to be in. So make sure to keep it there and when you see yourself doing it, remember to bring it back in, keep it right there nice and tight, okay? Next, we're going to talk about the frets. If you're wondering what these are, these are frets and they're simply there to, to reference where to put your fingers so that you have you know the right sound coming out. We got fret 1, fret 2, fret 3, fret 4, fret 5, and it just continues all the way down. Next we're going to talk about the strings, the names of the strings. I'm going to use an acronym that my guitar teacher taught me. It's kind of funny, so here you go. Every bird goes down after eating. Every bird goes down after eating. Every bird goes down after eating. Okay, so that's it. Really easy and simple way of remembering the names of the chords, or the names of the strings. Step number two, guitar strumming. Some of you are, are maybe even overwhelmed at the fact of, man, like I don't even know how to strum. Let's not worry about that right now, and let's just worry about doing down strums. Forget about this, we're not gonna even play anything yet. We're just gonna practice how to strum, okay? We wanna stay loose. A lot of my students that I have, they go like this. And there's like so much pressure and so much like, power. It doesn't need to be like that. Hold the pick that you have, not super hard, but light enough to just give it a little bit of leeway. Not too light, of course, but just start going down like that. Okay, this is down strumming. Now we're going to strum up. So you don't have to hit all the strings, but let's start, str let's start strumming up now, okay? Okay? Stay nice and loose. Don't like nice and loose, okay? And that's it for that, okay? So remember, don't make it that difficult. Just keep it nice and light, okay? Nice and light, up and down. So ready? We're going to do four strums down and four strums up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You go ahead and practice that. Pause the video if you need to. We're going to move on now to step number three, which is the three chords that you're going to learn, which is G, C and D. Let me say that again. G, C, and D. So I'm going to talk to you about how you need to actually place your fingers, okay? A lot of the time we want to death grip it and go like that and it's just going to be very hard in the end to try to make a nice sounding chord. When you're playing guitar you want to use the tips of your fingers and so ladies, if you're watching, you're going to have to cut your nails. And maybe not this hand, but this hand for sure. I'm teaching my sisters right now and uh, I told them, you gotta cut your nails because it's very, very difficult to be able to press down the string all the way without your nails stopping you from actually doing that. So if you have long nails, you gotta cut them. We wanna make sure that we leave enough arch so that we can go up and down the neck, placing our thumb right there, nice and snug right there, okay? And then we're gonna take our fingers and we're not gonna just leave them flat. We wanna make sure that they're nice and arched, okay? giving you, like I said, the room that you need in order to move your fingers and play the chords. So, now we're going to talk about the three chords. Like I said, G, C, and D. Here we go. 
This is G, okay? And I'm going to take my pointer finger here and mute this string. Now press it down. I'm going to tell you the strings now. Finger number two, third fret, sixth string. From top to bottom is how it is, okay? There you go. Mute the next string, which is the A string, string number five. Mute it so that it's not playing because that, that chord, or sorry, that string is not really part of that chord. Finger number three is going to be on the third fret, second string, and finger number four is going to be on the last string, third fret. Okay? Here is how it sounds. Okay? And then do not be overwhelmed. We're just going to move one finger for C, okay? One finger down from G to C, okay? G to C, right there. Now mute this top string with your thumb if you can, okay? And if you're wondering why my hand is not the same, it's a simplified version. Start on that A string. Okay? And that's C for you. Now we're going to learn D. Here we go. Pointer finger on the third string, second fret. Ring finger, or the third finger, on the third fret, second string. And then the second finger, or finger number two, is going to be on the second fret, last string, okay? And we're not going to play the E and the A, because this is how it sounds. You got the... It just doesn't sound good. So we want to start on the D string. Every bird goes down, right here, at the D. We're going to start there. Okay? So that's the sound that should be coming out of your guitar. Now, if you're like, Luke, my guitar is not sounding like that. I'm just not making it sound the way that you're making it sound. It's probably because you're just not pressing down hard enough. You really got to press down, especially when you're first starting out. Your fingers are going to hurt like crazy. I already know. Trust me, I went through it. But once you start playing and you practice and you're going over your chords, your fingers start to harden and they create calluses. As for me right now, my fingers like rarely hurt. Only when I'm playing for a very long period of time. But other than that, it does not hurt. So you want to get to that point. Okay? So let's go over it again. G. Okay? One, two, three, four. Now go to C. Just move one finger down. Leave the bottom ones there. Good arch with my fingers. Now D. D string. Okay? Very good. Step number four, transitions. So now that you know G, C, and D, we got to really work on transitioning from each chord, like, harmoniously. Not just and looking at it and, and going and okay and Right, so we want to make it a nice, smooth transition between each chord. Okay, now this might take a little bit for you to learn, but it's very important that we get those transitions in because, in the end, that's what's going to make the song, you know, sound that much better. G, C, and D. Back to G. Okay, and step number five is play a song, right? There's so many songs with G, C, and D, um, it's ridiculous. Uh, the one that I think of is D, C, G. Um, Sweet Home Alabama, just because I graduated from Alabama. And so there's so many more other songs out there with these same three chords. Let's go over the chords one more time. G, C, D, back to G. Now we're going to do four strums each. Ready? G. One, two, three. C, one, two, three, D, one, two, three, G, one, two, three, four. Okay? Well, there you have it. Those are the three chords that you just learned. Congratulations for making it this far. If you really like this video and you really got some value from it, I'd really appreciate it if you just gave me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for upcoming videos and tutorials on how to learn guitar as well as piano and drums. So I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. What's up everybody? My name is Luke and I'm going to show you your free, your free guitars. You're free. Hey, free guitars for everybody.